In Ghana, about 1 million babies are born every year on the average with the recent data from the Ghana Health Services revealing that about 50,000 babies die from birth asphyxia annually. Here in the Bunuis region, health authorities are expressing worry at this development as birth asphyxia remains the major cause of neonatal deaths across the area. Dr. Paulina Clara Apia is the Deputy Director in charge of Public Health at the Regional Health Directorate. When we say neonatal death, um, what it means is that um, a baby who, is, who dies before or within 28 days, the first 28 days, is neonatal death. And, and for us in the, in the country, it is the first seven days. The first seven days is what we call the early neonatal death. That is where most of the deaths actually happen. And it's about 70%. Uh, um, so asphyxia is one of the causes of the neonatal death. And so um, it's not only asphyxia, but asphyxia for us as a region, asphyxia tops uh, the, the causes of neonatal death. And the other causes of neonatal death are prematurity. When a child is born and the child is not fully developed, uh, um, clearly um, the child's own body systems um, are not developed to be able to um, fight. And then also, uh, depending on how premature the child is, the child sometimes may not be able to be helped. And then the other cause is also neonatal infections. So these are the three main causes of neonatal death. But for us as a region, um, Axelia is uh, one of the, the top causes of the neonatal death. Regional Director of Health Services, Dr. Fred Admarko Boatin, attributes the lack of adequate facilities in some areas of the region as the major cause of the region's rising figures. It's not surprising because if you look at some of the districts in Gunung East currently as we are speaking, do not actually have hospitals. And then and, and where what we have basically health centers. And and we the, the evidence now is that these babies that we are losing, the care that they need is more you need more expertise and you need more equipment. And so you see that much in terms of capacity building, knowledge-wise, we, we have increased. But the other things, the factors that are needed for these to be implemented to improve. Notwithstanding, you see the improvement, but we can have a quantum uh, leap in, in improving. So these are some of the challenges that are contributing to the reason why the is, is higher though we are improving. He was however quick to note that with the needed investments, the region would improve on its performance and in return reduce the number of neonatal deaths recorded across the area. You can see that where there is an investment, it obviously translates into improved outcomes. And so that's what we will say that, look, let's continue to invest in these areas in terms of resources, equipment, facility-wise, these are things that are needed. And then if you're able to contribute or invest in this, then we are going to see more improved outcome. We are lagging in terms of uh, the, the uh, sustainable development goals. Uh, uh, therefore, if we, we have to really triple or double our efforts to be able to achieve the goals that we are looking for. And then we are therefore calling for need for support as uh, one of the newly created Reporting for Joy News, Anas Sabit, Kintampo.